Hi everyone, guess what I got in the mail today? A darn good yarn box. Uh, I had to restart because I noticed I had my address over there, so I had to rip that off. Uh, I am so excited. This is my 12th month of darn good yarn, and I can't wait to open it. So I'm not gonna wait, I'm just gonna open it. So I haven't opened it, I haven't seen it. All I've done is cut the bottom and ripped up my address. And, oh, look at that yarn. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I was just smelling it. Um, I just have to tell you about the smell of the darn good yarn, um, yarns. It smells to me, it gives back such good memories. The smell of it is like, uh, when I was little, my uh, cousin was getting married in Bangladesh and we all went to Bangladesh. Like when I say we all, like all our extended family are all over the world and everybody went to Bangladesh for that wedding. And I remember the house I was staying in, not everybody was there, but quite a few people were there. And um, the day of the wedding, everybody was in a rush to get ready and the, the saris were being ironed all day and the whole house smelled like silk. The whole place smelled like silk. And so when I get the darn good yarn yarn, and I smell it, it just reminds me of that time because this is what it smells like, the silk of uh, when they were ironing it right before the party. It was so nice. Anyways, tangent. You probably didn't need to hear about it, but let me tell you about the yarn. It's silk roving worsted weight yarn called Mermaid at Sea. Oh, I could see that. Mermaid at Sea. Maybe I should make my mermaid with this yarn. Okay. Be a connoisseur of new crafts and mediums. Life's too short uh, to make boring projects. Okay, that's not the specs. <laughs> this is a medium four. It recommends a 6.5 millimeter hook a five uh, 5.5 to 6.5 millimeter hook and if you're a knitter 4.5 <coughs> excuse me sorry about that um if you're a, a knitter it needs a 4.5 to 5.5 millimeter needle oh my gosh it's so pretty look at that oh my gosh the yarn is so oh i like it I really like it. It's it's pretty thick. I don't know. I found like um, darn good yarn, you know what they call worsted weight, is really a little thicker than worsted weight. Although I don't know. I'll find out more when it's on my hook. Uh, but the other ones that I had that were worsted weight were a little thicker. Uh, anyways, let's put that aside and see what else I got. I got this. What is this? Oh, look, it's a sheep with yarn balls. It's a pin. It's called Rainbow Wool Ship, Sheep Enamel Pin. Isn't it cute? It's adorable. I mean, make great decoration for something. And oh, I was about to open it off camera, I forgot. I got this. Uh, it's a sea glass diffuser bracelet. It's worth $14.99. Aww. That's so pretty. Look at the colors. Oh, nice. And this is glass. I'm allergic to metal, which is why I don't wear any jewelries, but this I can wear. Oh, this is so nice. I like the fact that the beads aren't perfect. Um, they have all sorts of like character in it in the nooks and crannies and it's really nice. It doesn't smell like anything. It says diffuser bracelet. I wonder how you how it would be a diffuser bracelet though. It doesn't smell like anything. Okay, here's the booklet. Uh, so this is a uh, Mermaid at Sea, this month's yarn, and you get the rainbow wool ship enamel pin and sea glass diffuser bracelet. Oh, congratulations for being a part of the yarn, our Yarn of the Month Club for one year. To thank you for your support, we've included a one-year commemorative pin right here as an extra mystery item. Oh, it's so cute. It is so cute. Okay, before I show off patterns, it talks about the stitch, the Yarn Club exclusive. Oh, look at these pretty, oh my gosh. Don't you just want to go there and touch all that yarn? Oh, I would love to just go there and say, Wow, and just touch them. Look how 
beautiful they are. Wow. You know what? My colors are a little lighter than the one in the picture. My green is not as intense and my blue is not as intense. It's okay. I still love this, but it's not as uh, the same as in the picture. I guess once it's uh, hung out to dry in the sun, it loses some color. I'm not sure. Okay, so the knit pattern is a bow headband. This is the headband. And the crochet pattern. Oh, this is cute. I don't know if I want to make a headband out of it, but it is cute. I could use the patterns as something else with other yarn. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I usually like the knit patterns better than the look of the knit patterns of the darn good yarn patterns than I do the crochet, but this time I will definitely say I like the crochet one better. That one looks nice. It's a star stitch. Oh, I shouldn't be saying anything about the pattern, right? I, I don't think it's a star stitch. I make amigurumi, so I'm not very, uh, sorry. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to fling it. I am, my hands were just like out of control, I guess. Um, I make amigurumi, so I don't know a lot of stitches, so I don't know what stitch it was, but <laughs> look at my yarn. Isn't that so cool? Oh, and I didn't take it off. I guess I'll take it off for this. This is my 12th month subscription box from Darn Good Yarn, and I am so excited. I really, really like it. Oh my gosh, this yarn. Oh, I already started making my mermaid, but I think maybe I'll make a mermaid with this too. Like a version of a mermaid with this. So pretty. Oh, imagine a mermaid's tail with this. I mean, it would so go. It's a mermaid at, mermaid at sea is the colorway. And oh, wow. Maybe I'll make a mermaid with it. I don't know. Is it going to be enough? I think there'll be enough for the tail. Anyways, um, thank you for watching. Subscribe to me if you want to hear more from me. Like the video if you like the video. Really appreciate you guys being here. Bye. I got my darn good yarn box. Yay.